lines through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on What is up everyone, welcome back to another Sky High Aviation HD video and today we are here with the What's Flying Our Skies, uh, Flying Our Skies Christmas Special episode. This is a bit delayed and a bit late, I know it is. Um, I'm not sure last year was the 23rd of December, but we're doing it on Christmas Eve so it's a little bit more Christmassy. Getting into the spirit, I am sorry if it's a bit late for you guys and you're watching it uh, on Christmas Day or so on, but it's here. Um, there's going to be more than just this, we are going to have a special montage coming out. Um, it may not be out. On, uh, on Christmas Eve today, when this is released, it may be out on um, Christmas Day if I hop on my computer and upload it, or get it scheduled for then if I can edit it out, or maybe on Boxing Day, but it will be coming a special little montage. So, just like last year, we're hopping up into Finland area. We did a, f uh, a video, the last video was in Gothenburg, um, but I also do apologize that videos haven't been out for a very long time. I've been really ill, I've had the flu. Um, so I've wanted to make videos, I really have wanted to make videos, but I just couldn't. I still have got a bit of it, but it's still not that, it's not that bad, I'm well enough to make videos. So I'm here to do this today, and it should be pretty good. Right, our first aircraft is here, it's a Norwegian 77-800 Stockholm to Tenerife. Um, it's flying out of Stockholm, as you see there. We're going to do the whole area, sort of like everywhere around. So like Robin the Emmy, we're going to go to... All the places all over the place, like everywhere basically. So, this is it here Stockholm to Tenerife, December 7, 800, uh, heading over from uh, well, to Tenerife, which is a, a pretty interesting flight to go on this time of year, not gonna lie. Next up is a British Airways 767300 London Heathrow to Stockholm. Uh, that's gonna be coming in, I'll approach very shortly. I don't really like the British Airways 767, I know a lot of people um, are quite. You know, big fan of it, and they do short routes in the 767 BA. Do they head over to Amsterdam a lot of the time and stuff? I'm not sure if I like them. They have, well, they did come to Cardiff quite frequently for the uh, for the servicing, but I haven't seen one there for a very long time. It was the start of the year I last seen one. Um, apart from that, they're just dying off, and I kind of hope they get rid of them very shortly because I am not a very big fan of those aircrafts. Here we got a Qatar 787-8 Dreamliner, also loaded to Doha. Um, crossing over, just departed from Oslo, and it's on its way down to Doha, uh, 4 hours and 22 minutes en route, again, <laughs> I mean, maybe if you're going on holiday to Doha for Christmas, but I definitely wouldn't, I'm not sure about you, it's just somewhere you wouldn't really want to go, I'm not sure if anyone, personally, I wouldn't want to be anywhere at Christmas, apart from home, like your own home, which, it might just be a thing that I think and always have thought, but maybe you want to go somewhere else for Christmas and enjoy the sunny weather in Doha. Here we got another uh, another good flight here, Helsinki to London Heathrow in a Finnair A321, which is quite a cool flight. Helsinki is a pretty big airport. I'm surprised there's not that many planes on the radar, unless they're just reducing operations today. However, um, I've done a cute, uh, quite a few flights from Flight Sim from Helsinki, which is a pretty cool, very enjoyable Finnair. So yeah, that's heading down to London Heathrow in 2 hours and 24 minutes. It'll touch down on British soil, and uh, everyone can have fun. Yeah, there's a, uh, a TUI 737, operated by uh, TUI Fly Netherlands, going up to Kit Kittela from Amsterdam, uh, PHTFB, which is uh, pretty cool. It's heading all the way up. I'm not really sure where Kittela is. I know it's northern. Uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, it is quite northern, because that has got a long way to go, and it's already halfway through. So there you go, that is that, the uh, 737-800 in the amazing-looking TUI livery. Here we have a uh, SAS or Scandinavian A340-300 uh, from Kiruna to Copenhagen. I'm not really sure where that airport is either. Can I probably even pronounce it correctly? Um, so yeah, that is that. It's heading down to Copenhagen. I'm not really sure if I like the A340 to be honest. I mean, it's cool and all, and it. I'm not. I don't know. It just doesn't really grow on me. I like it in some degrees. I don't like it. So let me know what you think of it, if it's your fan. Have yours one of your favourite aircrafts? If not, then let me know why, because I would uh, really like to know. Here we found something pretty interesting. It's a Svensk Luftambulance. 
it's an, it's an air ambulance, basically, for those who don't know. Um, Airbus Helicopters H145. It looks like he's doing some sort of rescuing in the mountains, I'm guessing. Anyone's had an unfortunate time there, but, um, yeah, it's come from Mora. I'm not sure where that is. It's not a marked airport, so it's just a heliport, probably. A small heliport, uh, or an air, or a hospital, in fact. Um, but yeah, Svensk, Svensk Luftambulance. There you go. Something we haven't caught before. Okay, so, uh, we got a Wiz A321. Going to Gdansk. <laughs> We've had this in the previous episode, actually. Um, the previous one was actually quite wintry and stuff. So that's, that fits well. But there you go. That is a, uh, Wiz A321. Heading from, I'm not gonna pronounce that place, but you guys can go ahead and do that in your own will. Um, so yeah, let's see what else we got flying around. Okay, here we have another uh, flight that is going from Kitala. It's from going to London Gatwick. It's an EasyJet A320 GEZTT. Um, it's got two hours left, so 700 nautical miles. It's already been in the air for one hour and 22 minutes, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there you go. That is going back down to London Gatwick. Here we've got a uh, Finnair E190 LR Helsinki to Moscow. Pretty cool. I do like the livery, actually, on the... E190s or the Embraers for thin air, they do look quite nice, so um, yeah, that's definitely something. OHLKM. It's got a nice little 747 here, uh, going to t from Tokyo to Frankfurt, so it's cutting straight across. And if people can see out the window, they can see a nice, I'm, I'm assuming, snowy, uh, snowy land under there, so that's pretty cool for them. Got a Speedbird A321 from London Heathrow to Gothenburg, um, so there you go. I um, can't remember really who said they wanted to see Gothenburg in the previous video, but there you go, that is uh, one for you. Heading into Gothenburg from London Heathrow, good old A321. Got a KLM 747-700, Amsterdam to Oslo. Uh, 46 minutes left of its flight, so uh, not too long. It's been here 37 minutes. This is in the old livery, I don't think I like the old livery. Um, well, uh, not as bad to say on this, but on any of the aircraft anymore. I don't think it suits in and fits, and I'm not really the biggest fan. Got a small planet just uh, going out of the shop there from Iv Ivalo to Birmingham. It's an A320. We did have one of these coming to Cardiff. It was a 321 uh, heading from that airport. And uh, we're going to go and see it, but it came in a bit late. It was um, delayed, and it was really quite dark, so we wouldn't... Have seen anything anyway, so it was a bit pointless, but there you go, small planet, A320. Up top here, coming from whatever airport that is, Trondheim, uh, going down to Amsterdam, it's an E190 STD in the uh, nice new livery. I do like it in the new livery. I think I prefer the E175s, I think they are, the ones with the cool winglets. For KLM, they do look quite cool, and they'll be seeing a lot of those at Cardiff from now on. Here we've got a uh, a Nor a Nordica <coughs> uh, Bombardier CRJ700. Uh, it's operated by LOT, and it's going from Tallinn to Stockholm. Quite interesting. I do like the livery on that. That actually does look very, very nice. It looks very cool. So, um, uh, if anyone has any more information on that livery, for sure, I would like to know because it looks very interesting. Maybe the guy that um wanted Gothenburg. Maybe he knows. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. It looks very cool. Alright, here we've got a Air Baltic Dash. Um, it's from Riga. I know it's not Scandinavia or Finland or whatever, but it is. Um, it's close by. I can see it down there. So we're gonna pop that in there. Good old Dash. Got got to have, got to have a good old Dash somewhere in this. So L Y B A Y. Oh, and there we go. We have a uh, a 175 STD, the one I just said I preferred over the 190, which is just over there. Both from the same airport, I believe. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, heading over to Amsterdam, it's going like a different direction. Amsterdam is down there, and this is going around, obviously. But um, I wonder which one will get there first. Okay, so here we have another EasyJet. It's an A320 um, GEZWT. I thought this was going to be like EasyJet. I know they've got different things like EasyJet Switzerland and stuff. I thought this was going to be one of those, because this is going from Stockholm to Milan. But it's G-Reg, so it's the British EasyJet, I think. I don't know, maybe it's leased over. But yeah, it's heading over to Milan um, from Stockholm. 2 hours and 12 minutes en route. Just departed 6 minutes ago. And it's climbing up to its cruising altitude. Okay, here we've got another air ambulance. Uh, Svensk Luftenbar Lance. Airbus H145. Everyone's going to absolutely annihilate me for just taking the mick out of that. But um, yeah, you can see this one's definitely come from a built-up city. You can see all the 
stuff there. So yeah, it's probably just taken off from a unknown helipad or an airport or a, an airport. Yeah, good job. A, uh, a hospital. So there, there you go. Another air ambulance on our list. Okay, so here we go. <coughs> the legend has it. Every single episode, we have a rare, and we have found pretty much what we've been looking for this episode: a Christmas livery, the Finnair A321 Christmas livery. Now in the picture. You can't see it um, <clears throat> because it's I think it's on the other side or something. But I have got a picture for you to have a look at. So let's go and have a look at that right now, and uh, we'll go and check that out. Okay, and here it is. This is it here. Only picture I could find. I'm not sure if this still has it now. I know there is an entry 21 with a Christmas livery on it um, for thin air this year. I haven't seen this one really, but if it is real, it's real. If it's not, it's not. We're gonna go off. What uh, Flat Redder says, take it uh, on the chin and we have found ourselves a rare this episode, which is what we were, f were looking for, to be honest, I was looking for a Christmas livery and we got one, so there it is. Okay, so before we wrap up the video and end it here, um, we slip down into Poland, <laughs> um, just a quick thing, it has been spotted that Santa and his reindeers have been caught across uh, Europe on flight radar, so I thought I would go and check it out, and it is here. It's got something to like on as well, which is pretty cool. I wonder if that was in the making for a long while. So before we wrap it up, we'll go and check it out, sort out stuff, and uh, we should be pretty much set. Okay, so here he is, Santa and the sleigh. Um, red nose is the call sign. Sid Nicholas, the one and only man, 2017, took this legendary photo. Um, going to the North Pole, Santa and the sleigh. Uh, <laughs> Registration is ho ho ho, and he's going at a whopping 1,255 knots of ground speed. Um, can't even keep up with the the ATC down there in Poland. Merry Christmas is the is a little thing there. It says Merry Christmas the airline. So I I actually do really wish you have Merry Christmas this year. It's been awesome. I can't believe I've been doing it for so long now. Um, for doing YouTube so long, didn't think I'd ever get there. 2017 has been a truly great year for us, Sky High Vision HD. We've hit 1k subs, we've done so many things, your support is absolutely incredible. I really do appreciate all the stuff you've done for the channel, your love and support. Even when I've been ill, like I have been, I really am glad I can make this video for you today. Because um, I was hoping that being ill with the flu wouldn't get me out of here. So, I do apologise for that. I know, you guys, I know I've said it a lot this year because I have been ill quite a bit and you know, just getting in the way of videos, exams and stuff, but you guys have you guys have been there all the way through and 2018 will continue to make um, some pretty incredible content. We got loads of plans for you guys. There is a montage coming out very shortly, but I do apologize, this is only one video at Christmas this year, but it's worth it. At least I got to make one and the montage will be out very shortly. So, take care, stay safe, enjoy it with your family. Um, this isn't the last video of 2017 for us, I will be back after Christmas and Boxing Day and stuff like that with some more awesome things for you. Until then, please just chill out, enjoy Christmas with your family, have fun, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, adios, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.